All right, page 170, and we are going to talk about tides. All right, a river in reverse. If you were visiting New Brunswick in Canada, you might see the St. John River flowing into the ocean. But six hours later, you might find that the river changed direction while you were gone. How could this happen? The St. John River really does reverse course twice a day. At low tide, it empties into the Bay of Fundy, shown below. At high tide, the Bay of Fundy's tide pushes into the river, forcing the river to run in the opposite direction. The Bay of Fundy's tides are among the highest in the world. So there's two pictures to show you, high tide and low tide. All right, fun fact here. Use your experience to answer the questions. Why does the St. John River change direction? And then have you ever seen a natural event that surprised you? And why was it surprising? All right, what are tides? The reversing St. John River is caused by ocean tides, the rise and fall of ocean water that occurs every 12 and a half hours approximately. The water rises for about six hours, then falls for about six hours. All right, tide cycle. The force of gravity pulls the moon and earth, including the water on Earth's surface, toward each other. Tides are caused mainly by differences in how much gravity from the moon and the sun pulls on different parts of the earth. At any one time on Earth, there are two places with high tides and two places with low tides. As Earth rotates, one high tide occurs on the side of Earth that faces the moon. The second high tide occurs on the opposite side of Earth. Figure 1 explains why. So as you read figure 1, underline the causes of high and low tides. All right, here we go. Figure 1. Tides. You can think of Earth as a ball surrounded by a layer of water as shown here. The layer is really much thinner than this, but it is drawn thicker so it is easier to see. All right, the near side. The moon's gravity pulls a little more strongly on the water on the side closest to the moon than on Earth as a whole. This difference causes a bulge of water on the side of Earth closest to the moon. This bulge causes a high tide. Write an H where high tides occur and an L where low tides would occur in these pictures. All right. The far side, the moon's gravity pulls more weakly on the water on the far side of Earth than on Earth as a whole. Since Earth is pulled more strongly, the water is left behind. Water flows toward the far side, causing high tide. Halfway between the high tides, water flows towards the high tides, causing low tide. All right, the sun's roll. Even though the sun is about 150 million kilometers from Earth, it is so massive that its gravity affects the tides. The sun pulls the water on Earth's surface toward it. Changes in the positions of Earth, the moon, and the sun affect the height of the tides during a month. All right, so during a new moon. The sun, the moon, and Earth are nearly in line during a new moon. The gravity of the sun and the moon pull in the same direction. Their combined forces produce a tide with the greatest difference between consecutive low and high tides, called a spring tide. The term spring tide comes from an old English word, springin', meaning to jump. All right, first quarter. During the moon's first quarter phase, the line between Earth and the sun is at right angles to the line between Earth and the moon. The sun's pull is at right angles to the moon's pull. This arrangement produces a neap tide, a tide with the least difference between consecutive low and high tides. Neap tides occur twice a month. All right, during a full moon. At full moon, the moon and the sun are on opposite sides of Earth. Since there are high tides on both sides of Earth, a spring tide is also produced. It doesn't matter in which order the sun, Earth, and the moon line up. All right, for third quarter. I want you to infer... Draw the position of the moon and the tide bulges at third quarter. What kind of tide do you think occurs? All right, for apply it. The table shows high and low tides at four times in May 2008 in St. John, New Brunswick. St. John is on the Bay of Fundy. So I want you to interpret data. Spring tides occurred at two of the times shown. Which two and how do you know? Would the tide be higher when the moon is positioned on the same side of Earth as New Brunswick or on the opposite side, and why? So use this data table 
and the knowledge from the chapter to answer those questions. All right, vocabulary. Does a spring tide always happen in the season of spring? And explain your answer. All right, assess your understanding. Most coastal areas have blank high tides and blank low tides each day. All right, how does the position of the moon affect ocean tides? And then for C, look at the diagrams on the previous page. What is the angle formed by the sun, earth, and the moon during a neap tide and also during a spring tide?